Obama missing after his contractor found with shooter's private plane and what it was used for. The day the news of the country's most deadly shooting attack, former President Barack Obama immediately came out with bravado to reclaim his role commander-in-chief. Despite using the tragedy to speak of gun control on day one, he has strangely gone silent since as the investigation progressed. This coincided with a massive void in information available to the public, which was suspicious given this was the deadliest shooting in modern history. More has been released on past attacks far sooner than what's been made available on this one and now we know the disturbing reason why. The country is reeling from the attack which has only been made more disconcerting in the aftermath with the massive lack of information about how and why this happened. This is never the protocol as the public needs answers to what happened as their security is at stake. If the obvious secrecy seemed strange, there was a reason for that with what's now finally coming out at the same time that former President Barack Obama has suddenly gone missing. The plot has just thickened. If you suspected a government involvement in the scrupulous planning that no average Joe is really capable of doing on his own, you were probably right. The mysterious Stephen Paddock is an average, faceless guy who blends into society despite being rather wealthy. Paddock had several investment properties and apparently at least one private plane which ended up in unusual use after he reportedly sold it to an intelligence contractor who was part of Obama's administration. While that raises some eyebrows, what else was discovered about this alarming sale pretty much blows the investigation wide open as to why the FBI is protecting and even changing so many facts about this crucial incident that killed 59 Americans and wounded over 500 more. A few internet sleuths have taken matters into their own hands after the obvious disinformation campaign by the mainstream media surrounding the Las Vegas shooting, The Daily Shebel reported. Before you board the skepticism train the proof is in the information provided on via the FAA. Of course, this isn't something that CNN will be quick to expose, as it reveals the attack is worse than we thought and may not end with these 59 victims. Mike Toke is limited to a certain character count in the written portion for the tweet so his message only says so much. However, he lets the evidence he lays out say far more than what the site limits him to writing. It's now becoming more clear than ever that the government is hiding the facts from us to protect themselves. The Daily Sheeple explains what the evidence in this tweet means and is not looking good for Obama's administration. Not surprisingly, the former president is nowhere to be seen since initially trying to come out as a hero, pushing for gun control, of course. Looking closely, the first thing you will notice is that the shooter, Stephen Paddock, had a pilot license and owned two planes. This is well-established fact. The tail number of one of those planes is N5343M, a Cirrus SR-20. You can see that this was owned by Paddock by going to the website flydoware.com. But Paddock doesn't own this plane anymore. It was grounded three years ago, and it's now in the hands of none other than Volant LLC, which there is little information on. However, Volant Associates is none other than a Department of Defense contractor. Meaning Paddock's plane has been in the hands of the United States government for the past three years and grounded since, if Volant LLC is being used as a way to hide information. Considering what Volant Associates does, that wouldn't be so far-fetched. But the plane's information is all easily verified here on flightaware.com. It's been in Roanoke, Virginia since April 25, 2014. Volant describes its mission on their website as providing the industry's preeminent professionals to discriminating U.S. government and intelligence and defense industry customers. The registration of this plane is also listed as active even though it hasn't been flown in three years. Strange enough yet? Well, it gets even better. The FAA should have this same information. But they don't. Their website shows that a different aircraft, a Cessna 152, maintains that tail number and it was last registered to a person in San Diego, California. The FAA, Federal Aviation Administration, is a government agency and it appears that it has scrubbed this plane's information. Now, why would they do that? Well, the plot still thickens. In the age of the Internet with every reputable business being represented by some kind of a website, 
It's strange that a contractor company successful enough to purchase an airplane is practically nowhere to be found online. The only plausible reason for this is something to hide, or perhaps Volant LLC is a cover company for the defense contractor. If so, inquiring minds want to know what they're trying to hide and why. This is another major cover-up that government workers have been caught in since the Sunday shooting. Valet record proves that the FBI had intentionally misled the public on Paddock's check-in day at Mandalay Bay, as exposed by reporter Lara Loomer, the Gateway Pundit reported. Everyone was told that he checked in on Thursday, but was actually there on Tuesday to stay, two days longer than they said.